This video provides information on getting started with the TrueTest XRP2 EID panel reader. After unpacking the box, check that you have the following items. The XRP2 panel reader, the large or small antenna that may be supplied separately, the panel reader serial cable that is used to connect the panel reader to a weigh scale indicator, the serial to USB adapter cable that together with the serial cable provides a connection to a PC, the battery leads for connecting to a 12 volt battery, the mains power adapter, the mounting bracket for mounting the reader on the antenna or the side of a crush or a chute, the software CD that, is you, that can be installed on your Microsoft Windows PC, and a quick start guide that covers the topics in this video. The panel reader can be powered by a 12 volt battery using the supplied battery leads. Connect the red clip to the positive terminal on the battery and the black clip to the negative terminal. Alternatively, the panel reader may be powered by mains power using the mains power adapter. There is no on off switch. When power is applied, the unit will automatically switch on and the red power LED will illuminate. Before using the panel reader, it is useful to know how to get around. At the bottom is the antenna connector. To use the reader, you must connect an antenna. The connector labeled COM is used to connect to a wayscale indicator using the supplied serial cable or to your PC if you also use the USB serial adapter. The bottom right connector is for power. You can use the battery leads or the mains adapter as covered in the last section. At the bottom right are three buttons. The menu button is used to access the panel reader setting. There are three lights on the reader. The red power light illuminates to show the status of the power supply. The blue Bluetooth light illuminates to show that a Bluetooth wireless connection has been established. The green read light flashes once when an EID tag has been read successfully. The screen on the reader includes a number of pieces of information. In the top left of the screen is information about the Bluetooth wireless connection. In the top right, the current time is displayed. In the bottom right, the current session file number is displayed. In the bottom left, the count of the number of animals scanned during the current session is displayed. And in the middle, the recorded ID tag number of the last animal is displayed. The new session button is used to start a new session file. When the button is pressed, the session number on the display will change and the count will go to zero. That concludes the section on getting around the panel reader. The next sections will focus on how to use the reader to scan and record EID tags. There are two ways to use the panel reader to capture EID tags. The first is standalone, where the panel reader saves each scanned tag into its own internal memory. These records can then be transferred afterwards. The other method is to immediately send EID tags when connected to a wayscale indicator. This can be done over Bluetooth or using the supplied serial cable. In this case, the EID tags can be recorded along with other information on the wayscale. The panel reader and antenna should be installed on the outside of the crush or chute, so not to be damaged by animal movement. If you have a large antenna, the panel reader can be mounted directly on the back of the antenna. The positioning of the antenna is important to obtain an effective read. The height of the antenna should be set so that the animal's head is always within the read zone. The antenna should be positioned towards the front of the crush or chute. An animal flow must be restricted to ensure that only one animal is within the antenna read zone. The location of the antenna in relation to metal bars or pipes needs to be considered as it can affect performance. The outer edge of the antenna should not run behind parallel bars as shown in the picture. 
For more information on troubleshooting, see the quick start guide or the troubleshooting how to video. To use the reader with a weigh scale indicator, you need to connect the two devices. You can do this via Bluetooth or using the supplied serial cable. To establish a Bluetooth connection, you must first turn on the indicator and then the panel reader. The reader will automatically search for true test weigh scales and the devices should be paired within one minute. When pairing is complete, the panel reader's Bluetooth LED will illuminate blue and the LCD screen will show the name of the connected device. You can test the connection by scanning an EID tag and this should appear on the Wayscale screen. We're now ready to start recording EID tags. In this example, we're using a car battery to power the reader. Connect the battery leads to the terminal and then press the new session button to start a new session. And now we can bring animals onto the car. You can transfer the sessions recorded on your panel reader to a PC using the Datalink software application. You must first install Datalink on your Microsoft Windows PC. Once installed, you can connect the panel reader to the PC using the serial cable and USB adapter cable. Once connected, you can launch Datalink application and the sessions recorded on your reader will be displayed on the screen. You can then download the sessions into a number of different file formats. You can also transfer session files from the panel reader using an Android smartphone. You must first install the TrueTest Datalink app. This is free and can be downloaded from the Google Play Store. Instructions on using the app are available in a separate how-to video and are also available at truetest.com. This concludes the how-to video for getting started with the TrueTest XRP2 EID panel reader. For more information, please refer to the quick start guide supplied with the product.